Hello, I'm Yoko, and here's year two of what happened to my clan gen cats. I also just want to thank you all for the massive support on the first video, like, it's amazing. I'm really happy that you guys liked it, and if you haven't seen that first video, you should probably check it out, as this is a continuation of the lives of those cats. You can also go back and watch the beginning if you need a refresher on what this is and my personal in-game rules. But with that said, let's just hop in and sadly start with all the new cats in Star Clan. First up is Kendra, and if you don't remember her, that's because she wasn't in the last video. <laughs> um, she just joined the clan this year, and she basically immediately died. Um, Kendra was a 13 moon old bold cat who was formerly a kitty pet, and I am so sad she died. I was so ready to have the young pretty kitty pet in the clan. She was only in the clan for like two moons and technically joined as an apprentice, but since she was 11 moons old and already almost a warrior age. I don't really count her apprenticeship as like a true one, and more along the lines of Aspen Lily just helped her settle in and showed her a few things. I imagine it was more of a friendship since they were the two youngest clan members. Um, unfortunately, fate was not kind and she was killed by a dog. I have added sadness onto this by saying she mistook it for her old two legs dog and wasn't as cautious as she should have been when she saw it. But yeah, here's Kendra. I wish she stuck around longer because I really liked her. Next in Star Clan is unfortunately Yellowbush, who died at exactly 100 moons old. I imagine Yellowbush had been friends with Kendra, perhaps bonding over both previously being kitty pets, and Yellowbush brought her into the friend group that she had with Dust Cloud and Burdockfoot. Being vengeful cats, Yellowbush and Burdockfoot both want to hunt down and chase out that dog that killed Kendra. Unfortunately, Yellowbush ran into it on patrol and was sadly killed as well when she attempted to get her revenge. With her and Kendra's death, there are currently rumors floating around the clan of if kitty pets can really make good warriors or if they are perhaps cursed. Despite this, Yellowbush is remembered by her friends as a strong warrior who should be honored. And with that, these are the only cats that died in year two, so let's move on to our living cats. I'm going to be drawing a few of these cats together, but with that said, let's start with our leader, Sandstar, and our deputy, Whiskerheart. First up is Sandstar, who has now officially reached Elder Age and is 122 moons old. Also, I realized I made everyone one moon older than they should have been in the first video, so oops. Um, despite his age, he is still a well-respected and wise leader, and despite the recent tragedies, he is quite proud of his clan and how we're all doing. Um, he is very nervous about that dog that's lingering in our territory, though. This year has brought them five kits, though, and a new set of mates in the clan, and he could not be prouder to watch the clan thrive. While I am a little sad he's never going to have kits of his own and spread his lineage due to his age now, I imagine he sees the entire clan as his family. Overall, there's not too much to say about him, so let's move on to our deputy, Whiskerheart, who is now 93 moons old. And things really haven't been going any better for her. She's still very stressed about the chatter of her not being the best choice for deputy. And it's only gotten louder. And I will say I have figured out who started those rumors and will mention it when we get to that cat. Whiskerheart is seriously doubting herself and has confided in Sansar that she knows the clan wants a different cat in charge and he should listen to them. And he has comforted her and told her that she's doing fine. He told her if she really wants to step down, he'd allow it, but he wants it to be on her own decision and not the clan's. She's currently taking a few moons to see if anything changes before she decides anything. I feel really bad for Whiskerheart. I just, I just want her to be happy. She, she's just not having a good time. Moving on, next is our medicine cat, Poppywish, who is now 74 moons old. She actually has a new apprentice and we'll be getting to her later. Poppy Wish's first positive status in the game since the death of her first apprentice, Squirrelpaw, happened when a kit had the status is showing interest in herbs, and my heart couldn't take it, and yes, that kit is now her apprentice, but Poppy Wish is doing a lot better than last time, and I am happy. She also received a prophecy, and I decided, based on future knowledge, because I may or may not have played ahead, it was when she spilled some herbs that she was cleaning out, there was a fresh burdock root perfectly in a small beam of sunlight that shone through the den. The root was surrounded by all the spilled, old, or damaged herbs and it's, that sat in the shadows around it. I hope I explained that okay. Poppywish understands this is a prophecy about burdock foot, but is still trying to interpret exactly what it means and hasn't said anything. 
And with that said, we're moving on to our Warriors. I'm still going to go in generally age order. So yeah, first up is our is a new member of the clan, Ridge, who is 120 moons old and technically an elder in game, but she currently has an apprentice, so lore-wise, I'm saying she's not retiring until her apprentice becomes a warrior in a few moons. I'll also say I have played the dev version, and I think I noticed that they won't retire if they do have an apprentice, but I could be remembering wrong. Also, side note, I'm not transferring these cats over to the dev version because I'm bad at computers and I don't want to lose them all. But yeah, she is bold and formerly a loner. She was already pretty old when she joined, being 109 moons old, and did her best to give back to the clan that took her in. She personally asked Sandstar to give her an apprentice so she could feel she truly did all she could for the clan and passed her skills on to others. On her first patrol of her apprentice, they actually ran into a fox and... Ridge gained the tear, the tear in her ear, fighting bravely to protect the young apprentice. I really like Ridge. She's a really brave cat and made an impact despite only technically being a warrior for a short time, and I'm, I'm kind of sad that she's retired already. Our next warrior is another new cat who's formerly a loner, and her name is Odd. She's 90 moons old and her personality is sneaky, and I think it's hilarious. It would have only been funnier if her personality was strange instead of sneaky, but she's great. Come on, her name is Odd. <laughs> she just joined, so at this time there's not too much to talk about, but I love her look. She joined already missing a tail, and I need her to live and cause some chaos. Like, come on. <laughs> uh, she also was immediately thinking about love when she joined, so... She either gets crushes really fast, or perhaps she has a lover that she left behind. Perhaps we will see them later. Either way, I need more odd lore, and if she dies, I will cry. <laughs> Next up is Dust Cloud, who is 77 moons old now. And for anyone who had any suspicions of him because he's sneaky, he has done absolutely nothing wrong since joining and is a loyal warrior. He is also now the very proud father of three beautiful kids who are currently in the nursery with their mother, Burdock Foot. They see him as their really cool dad, and he makes sure to catch them the best prey. He's sad about Yellowbush's death and wished... I swear I can talk. And wished he could have done more, and wished he could have had one of his kits as an apprentice. But unfortunately, that's not the case. He knows Burdock Foot is itching to get revenge on that dog as soon as she leaves the nursery, and he plans... On to support her and patrol together and hunt it down and fight by her side to chase it out if he needs to. He may not be a particularly vengeful cat, but this dog has claimed the lives of two cats and one was a very close friend. I really like Dust Cloud and I think he's really cool. Next up is another new former loner, Aspen Runner. She's 61 moons old and thoughtful. She joined the clan seeking shelter for her two kits. Her kits were the first kits the clan had had since starting and Sandstar happily let her in. Very shortly after joining the clan, she actually ran into the dog, who would later kill Kendra, and she injured her eye. And I now actually randomize how bad eye scratches are, like the scars, for variety's sake. Um, options range from being a small scratch, a large scratch, being blind in one eye, or losing the eye completely. Some options are locked for bigger animals, like foxes and dogs and stuff. Unfortunately, Aspen Runner got a bit of the bright heart treatment, and completely lost her eye. Also, this event wasn't from a patrol. She had kits in the nursery, and I don't send queens on patrol. That being said, while in the medicine cat den, one of her kits helped Poppy Witch take care of her, which she found adorable, and that kit is the med cat apprentice. Um, despite her injuries, she has no regrets about joining because she knows it would have been much worse alone, and she is very grateful for Poppy Witch's hard work in treating her. Our next warrior is Stoneleaf, who is now 35 moons old and a bigger jerk. He really wants to be deputy, and he was the one who started the rumors about Whiskerheart not being good enough. He's also really upset at the fact that Ridge got an apprentice when they're about to retire, since he still needs one to be eligible. He does actually think Whiskerheart is unfit for the position and didn't just start the rumors for his own gain. He'd also be okay with Burdockfoot becoming deputy, since he looks up to her. But in that case, he hopes to be her deputy in the future when she's leader. He's actually been arguing a lot with her mate, Dust Cloud, and though he doesn't say it, the reason is because he's jealous that he and the kits have taken up all of her time recently. And despite being a bit childish, he is actually a very skilled warrior, 
And he just wishes Samstar would see that and give him an apprentice so he can at least have a chance. But he's getting more and more annoyed and snappy to certain cats. One of those cats being Cinderpetal, who is now 28 moons old and gained a huge neck scar fighting a fox. He's very proud of it and thinks it makes him look really cool. He struts around with his head held high trying to show it off, which Stonely thinks is dumb. They still have their rivalry going rivalry going on and Cinderpetal likes to joke that he'll get an apprentice before Stoneleaf despite being a little younger much to Stoneleaf's annoyance. He still constantly runs face first into danger and manages to defeat anything he takes on. Um, he too is out on the lookout to chase out that dog though he is a little nervous about that particular challenge not that he'd tell anyone that. Also in the last video I accidentally wrote his name as Cinderpelt uh, no, he's Cinderpetal. I just made a mistake. <laughs> I'll be talking about the last of the two warriors together. So now we have Ravenspot, who is 28 moons old, and Aspen Lily, who is now 25 moons old. And these two have actually become mates. We got gay cats, heck yeah. And I do have the settings where they can have kits turned on, but that hasn't happened yet. As for how they got together... Aspen Lily got a small eye scar while fighting a rogue, and Ravenspot was visiting the medicine cat den that day in-game, so I took that to mean he was worried about him and checking on him. Then Ravenspot was spending a lot of time with Aspen Lily and was thinking about love, too. So, I made it official. The ship is adorable, especially considered in the last video I said Aspen Lily likes to cuddle in his sleep, and I drew them cuddling. And basically what I'm trying to say is I've dubbed this ship the Cuddlebugs. I'm now wondering if Aspen Lily had a crush first and was cuddling just to get close, or if Ravenspot had the crush first and was silently having a gay panic. Either way, I love these two, and if anything happens to either of them, I will cry. <laughs> also, um, there's now two Aspens in the clan, Aspen Lily and Aspen Runner, but they look, they look different enough and have different enough personalities that... I think it's okay. And other than them being mates and being cute together, there's not too much to say, so let's move on to our apprentices, who I'll also be talking about together. Our apprentices in Galaxy Clan currently are Aspen Runner's two kits, Lake Paw and Twig Paw, who are almost twins with very minor color differences, and I think that's adorable. They are both currently 11 moons old, so they're about to no longer be apprentices. Lake Paw is calm and the Medicine Cat Apprentice. Though technically, she should be staying in the medicine den and does in the game. Lore-wise, Poppy Wish lets her sleep in the apprentice den, so her brother wouldn't be alone in there. As a kit, she had many signs she would be a medicine cat, not only having an interest in herbs and being there to help her mom when she got injured, but she was also visited by Squirrel Paw in her dreams. Unfortunately, she was confused, that, confused about what was happening and was just scared for a bit, but eventually she understood. As a kit, she wished Poppy Wish would stop babying her, but since then she has learned about Squirrel Paw's fate and understands why she was a bit clingy. She was very rational and is doing her best to help her clan. As for her brother, Twig Paw is playful and really looks up to his mentor Ridge. The incident where she protected him from the fox has made him want to be the best type of strong warrior that can protect others too, just like her. Though he can be a bit of a goofball, he means well, and it usually just lightens the mood. Honestly, I see these two kind of like Dipper and Mabel from Gravity Falls, but with the gender swapped, I love these twins. <laughs> Lastly, let's head into the nursery with Burdock Foot, who is now 75 moons old, with her free kits, who are currently 4 moons old. Burdock Foot is currently very upset about the loss of her friend and the young Kendra, but her mate and her kits are helping distract her. She blames herself being in the nursery a bit for Yellowbush's death and thinks if they were together, they could have chased away that dog. She is determined to get the dog once her kids are apprenticed. Honestly, Burdock Foot is my favorite and this girl needs a break from all these disasters. Oh, and side note, if my cats have a mate and they have kids, in-game I temporarily break them up until the kids are apprentices to avoid having more kids while they still have some. They are still together canonically, it's just to avoid double litters. Helps add to the realism, I think. And as for the kits, I won't be getting into too much detail since kitten personalities change when they age up. But Burdock Foot and Dust Cloud have a bossy daughter named Shrew Kit who looks a lot like her mommy. And a quiet son named Cricket Kit. 
and a polite daughter named Hopkit. And I will say I have played ahead because I was sick and I played ahead a lot, but I wrote down everything and I still want to go by, like, one year by one year because I think it will be more interesting to put out little bits and pieces. I don't know. Um, but I do know their future personalities that they'll get, and all I'm going to say is, uh, oh boy. But yeah, that's our second year in Galaxy Clan. I'm already planning the year free video, but again, I have videos I want to make before that, so please be patient. My current plan is sometime before the end of this month, but no promises if I get busy. Thank you guys for all the support, and if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, and check out my socials below if you like my art. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace!